Snowfall in Colorado's Rocky Mountains has declined severely in the past two decades, meaning less water to sustain life in the arid region. Noah Malich is a snow researcher at the University of Colorado's Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research. In the western United States, 60 million people depend on snowmelt for their water supply, and globally it's a little over a billion people. Malich uses remote sensing technology to estimate how much water will become available when snows melt. So darker blues represent more snow, lighter blues represent less snow. Using satellite images, computer modeling, and on-the-ground snow surveys, Malich and his team are improving the accuracy of snow melt forecasting. This is critical information for water managers deciding how much water to release from a dam and when to do it. When you improve the accuracy of the forecast, then you actually increase the efficiency at which water is allocated, which is basically like introducing more usable water into the system. Another innovation is snow mapping from airplanes. Developed by NASA, the planes use LIDAR, a type of laser scanner, to measure the Earth's surface. If you take the height that you measured in summer and subtract it from the height that you measured in winter, that gives you a direct measurement of the snow depth. Measuring snow manually still provides essential data because water density varies greatly in snow. But these surveys are limited by the number of sites that teams can visit. Adding the remote sensing data creates a far more complete picture. As climate change disrupts established patterns, accurately predicting water availability from snow will become more important to meet the needs of the many people who depend on it. Matt Dibble for VOA News, Boulder, Colorado.